Do you? So I think that Tori shot her. I think I don't know if he meant to shoot her, but he definitely had a gun present. He had a gun out. How do you shoot a woman? And he how do was, you shoot someone? How do you pull a gun out on a woman? How do you do any of that stuff to a woman? I'm. I want to get to that also. But why? I don't know. It's a it's 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 a rage thing. It's a, it's a a guy can't deal with rejection thing. Guy can't deal with being said some wild shit to thing. And we see it. In, listen, we see it in the streets every day. We see it in different forms and different like avenues. He's pulling the gun. <laughs> Why are you pulling? That's Tory pulling the gun. I haven't looked up because Trev has been locking yeah, and loading that gun. gun this entire time. That's Tory like seen it. pulling the gun. You see? You like, see it? I'm like, yo, I don't see anything though. <laughs> Put the gun down. But we, the gun is the gun is okay, away. Put the gun away. You. God damn, but we, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> but we see this like when guys get into arguments with women or get rejected by women, they automatically just get aggressive. Like we see it on the streets. We see it on Jamaica Avenue. We see it whenever like we're kids in high school in the hallways. Like we see it on TV. A chick walking by. Yo, show let me get your number. Homegirl's like. Fuck you and your raggedy ass. Fuck you and your dirty Whoa. Air Force Ones. Whoa. And then homeboy's like, all right, well, fuck you then, bitch. You and it's like- You ain't even that bad anyway. You ain't even that cute. You're so exactly. bad. You're so, <laughs> so bad. bad. I'm lying. <laughs> when in actuality, she's the baddest thing you You're the baddest seen thing I've seen all day. all day. That's why I actually pulled up on you. Exactly. So the way you're hurting me right now, like, okay, see, I don't know about you, but back in the day, I can talk about this because I'm retired. Back in the day, I never used to walk up to girls to try to scoop. That was never my game because I was afraid of rejection. Not because I was mm-hmm. afraid of how I would handle rejection, right? Like if you rejected me, I probably would just never come out of the circle uh, or my hole ever again. But I was just more so afraid of rejection. So I actually just avoided talking to joints unless they were like, yo, I'm looking at you, boy. Pull up. And I'd be like, all right, I'm coming. I'm on my but way. there's this weird, the thing is like when you, when you do that, like let's say you approach a girl like on the street or in school or at a party or whatever, if you go up to her and you ask her for a number or ask her out and she says no, there's this weird like 30 seconds right afterwards where as a guy, you just feel like you're in the twilight zone, right? You just feel like, do, 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 yeah. what just happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not plan for this. Yeah, I, I only planned up until the point where I said, hey, what's going on? How are you tonight? Yeah. I wasn't explaining for you to say, Little nigga, if you don't get your stink breath away from me, I wasn't planning for that. So when you said that, I wasn't ready. I wasn't and I was ready. Like, oh shit. Damn, she got me. I gotta walk away now. I gotta walk away and I gotta did anybody you think did anybody see okay, that? That's another thing too. Did anybody just okay. see me I got, I got get to, my face thrown on the floor right. and stepped on? I gotta be honest. All uh-huh. right. So you know how it is. You're out in the club, you see the bad joint. All right. You're making eyes with her. But you know that all the other dudes are seeing her because she's noticeably pretty. Absolutely. Right? So my thing is, like, I watch game. I watch how the first dude pulls up on her and gets curved. And then I laugh inside a little bit. So that's why, like, I never You realize that things. could be you, too, right? Yeah, so I'm like, yo, I'm not doing that because there's a nigga out there who's dressed really nicely, and he's about to roast me as soon as I get curved, and he's not going to catch me today. <laughs> so I'm going to just chill. And that's really how a game goes. Most of my dating history is is getting with people in settings where we have like mutual interests. So it's school, it's work, it's um, different settings where it's like we're there for the same thing, so we have the same interest. So conversation really isn't hard to to power and start, right? Right, right. right. But like you said, like the situations where it's you approaching a girl that you don't know in a in a space that you're not 100 percent familiar with. It's like who just saw me get rejected? Who just saw me get my ass handed to me? Um, yeah, and I never wanted to be. On you're that just end. like in this limbo. And if you're in the company of other guys or other friends and you go back over there, it's like, yo, what she say? What should he say? You gotta be like, nah, she whack anyway. Yeah, see, nah, also, her breath stink anyway. I would I would never tell the homies I'm I'm going. Really? But they didn't see that. Very didn't rarely, notice. very rarely I would tell the homies I'm going. I used to just make my own move. Cause my thing is like I'm not gonna tell the homies I'm going, and then they ask me how to go, and now I can tell that she said my breath stinks. I'm but not the, doing that. The thing is like I remember very toxic. My breath time. never stinks, by the way. No, not not mine either. I remember very toxic time in clubs where the move wasn't exactly like going to the girl and talking to her. It was just like grinding up behind her, like easy, inconspicuously. Easy, easy. That don't don't make it sound like we were. It was unwarranted. There was a process. There was, I mean, there was, there was a, process. a process. There was a lead up. There was a lead up. There we wasn't probably just... like I never went in cold cold turkey. It might have been an accidental eye contact. I would, that would be more than enough for me. Then I would slide to the nice little Sean Paul beat, and I would move my hip right, and you move your hip left, and then I would try to get a little dub. And then yeah. you turn back and look at me, and then you'd be like, approved. Or, yeah. or, or, look or, back. or, oh boy, or if you back. give me the look back and you tell me, no, you're okay, start the car. Um, you ever got the look tell back? Tell the homies to start. That's when you tell the homies to start the car. The look back, and she's like, 
Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. And I'm like, all right, fine. Listen, you're good. That go go somewhere else. But uh, we always talk about how negative. It was like to to get that rejection, yeah. but nothing was better than when the hand went back and grabbed your neck. <laughs> the sign of approval. <laughs> That's when you put your two hands up and you point to the hole and you just. Oh Let's go. boy! <laughs> oh man! What a time! That was pre-COVID. What a time! That was pre. Indeed, pre. T- you can't touch people now. No, not even. No, nah, not even. But I do want to get to the point where, like, yes. Guys have to handle rejection yes, better. Yes, 100%, 100%. You cannot scream, yell, curse, use all these other names under the sun towards a woman that doesn't want your time or doesn't want your attention. And if it is true that Tory Lanez took out a gun and had a gun out as he was having a dispute with, with Meg, whether he pulled the trigger accidentally and shot her in the foot, whether he shot her in the foot intentionally, either way it's fucked up, either way it's not okay, either way his career is over. 